Hello my beautiful MK Love fam and welcome back to another episode and if this is your first time here my name is Melanie K Love I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday helping you to learn to love yourself flaws and all trust your intuition and to manifest your heart's true desires today I want to talk to you about five habits that have literally changed my life so without further ado here we go number one is gratitude when you literally have an attitude of gratitude you have the power to change your whole world oh my gosh so you can do this by doing a rampage of appreciation so basically what that means is when you wake up I want you to start by saying things that you love about where you are your house who you are what you're up to for instance you could say I love my bed I love my pillow I love that I have a beautiful house to stay to live in I love that I live 200 meters from the beach I love that I have such a beautiful high vibrational community called my beautiful MK love fam I love that I am going to be soon married to the love of my life I love my new ring like this is a clear court no a smoky quartz crystal ring which is to help with the root chakra to stay grounded um, I love this color of my nail polish I just love it it sparks so much joy and by just saying those things it changes your whole state and this is definitely something that you can add to your day you can do this morning night whatever works truly really best for you you can journal it you can say it aloud but I like to speak it I'm a better talker than than writer so that works best for me Number two is all about forgiveness. Now, I've learned a lot about forgiveness recently. I feel that there's so many layers to forgiveness. I see forgiveness as like an onion. You can't just say like, I forgive you, and then you're like, Ugh. you know? There are so many layers. And as you start working through those different layers and say, thank you for teaching me this lesson. Thank you for this, thank you for that. I forgive you for, every, for whatever it is. And I find that with forgiveness, because I think this is something I've learned recently, I find that when you forgive on a full moon, I find it's more powerful. I'm not too sure if you guys follow me on my Sunday segment, which is my weekly angel guidance. It's where I give you guidance for the week ahead and how you can deal and harness with the energies. And they're all in sync with the moon cycle. So the eight phases of the moon. And as we go through the eight phases of the moon, there's different things that you need to do along the way. One of them is um, on the full moon. Full moon is like to supercharge forgiveness. And that's why I created Forgiveness Heals, which is the 30 minute guided visualization to help you release the pain that you've been holding onto you deep within your soul. And as I forgive every single month, and sometimes there's a lot that comes up and you, as you like release it, as it comes up, instead of holding onto it, like I mean for decades, that's when you get really bitter and everything just pisses you off and you become such a negative person. But as you feel the pain, like I really want you to feel that pain and just say thank you so much for whatever it is. Um, the lesson I need to learn from this is, you know, if someone's mean to you, just say thank you so much for showing me the contrast of how I do not want to be treated. The lesson is maybe I spend more, less time with that person or maybe that person just needs a cuddle, you know? We don't know what other people are going through. So what we can do is just look after ourselves. I find that whenever I have difficulties with people in my life, I write everything down on a piece of paper um, and I've actually gotten to the process now where I go into the bathroom and I light it up on the floor and I've got this little silver kind of tin that I keep it in that's full of a lot of ash and as things come up and it's usually to do with people who are toxic and I'm trying to release that hurt because I don't want to wedge it into my body I don't want it storing itself on a cellular level I want to feel the pain and I want to release it because the most important thing you can do is look after yourself you're not responsible for anybody else's happiness except for your own and when I started learning to forgive in like I do a lot of forgiveness on the full moon but I constantly practice it daily because there's always something that comes up and you're like ah, oh, that doesn't sit well with me or you know I allowed you to make me feel like this why what do I need to know thank you and I release you and I set myself free 
Oh my gosh, I speak a lot about forgiveness in my client work too. And it's so beautiful to see the change and the transformation of my beautiful clients when they forgive. And then it's like they set themselves free and then this new beautiful chapter just comes and it's like they get their butterfly wings and then they soar high and and they manifest all these beautiful things into their reality. I just love it. It's Forgiveness is painful, but you know, it is okay to feel the pain. And speaking of feeling the pain, the next one is expressing your emotions. Now I actually refer to these in correlation with the emotional guidance scale, like starting at level 21 or 22, I can't remember, which is fear and depression. And then as you slowly work your way all the way up to the vibration of love, when you vibrate in the frequency of love, you manifest your heart's true desires. And you know, one day you may be in fear and depression. It actually takes a lot of work to bounce all the way back. It's not impossible, but you definitely can do it. But just like taking it one step at a time, um, reminds me of that Jordan Sparks song, one step at a time, da -da 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 -da. you know? And I think it's so beautiful that it's like, if you are in depression, which basically segments into deep rest, and it is a reflection of you thinking back on the past. It's like, okay, you need to heal yourself, which how do you heal yourself? Forgiveness and love. Um, so it's just so beautiful. It's just acknowledging how you feel and not dismissing those feelings. Like if something really bad goes on, cry, cry until you have no tears left. Because when you cry all your tears left, you can set yourself free and then you have the ability to rebuild and become stronger and it's all about learning those coping mechanisms and strategies to help you along the way. So if you're happy, be happy, relish in that delicious energy and just know that, you know, we can't always be there, but if things go down, then you know what you need to do to get yourself back up. So don't feel disheartened about where you are. It's like everything is working out for you. And I want you to say this, I am where I am and it's okay. Everything is working out for me. No matter where you are, you are exactly where you need to be. So surrender to the process because it's going to set yourself free. Okay, the next one is trusting your intuition. Now, how do you do this? Okay, the way that I learned to fast tune this one is by becoming vegan. And not just vegan because you can be a junk food vegan or you can be super healthy. I eat a whole plant foods um, a whole plant foods, plant-based diet. So I basically eat plants or anything grown in the ground in their most natural and unprocessed state. So I'm talking like for breakfast, banana and berries with some peanut butter and flax seeds mixed together with some water. Lunch is like falafels and hummus and green salad with some pita bread. Um, you know, whatever that looks like for you. I love eating plants in the most natural state because it makes me feel good. It gives me energy. I know that I'm, as I eat a rainbow of food, which correlates to our seven different chakras, I know that I'm getting all the vitamins and the minerals and the nutrients that I need to thrive at optimal health and vitality. And that makes me feel amazing. And when I learned to change my whole diet and the way that I ate, it basically gave me the spiritual awakening. And during that stage, it literally helped me to listen to my intuition. And when I learned to literally trust my intuition, I felt like there was different layers of, of the spiritual awakening. Food was the first step which helped in that awakening. And then from that, I learned self-love. And I, I just learned to see that everything that I ate, drank, said, thought, I was like, because I love myself, I'm choosing to eat this. Because I love myself, I'm thinking high vibrational thoughts. Because I love myself, I'm surrounding myself with people who love me, flaws and all. You know, and I think when you learn to trust your intuition, it's a game changer. It is literally like a superpower. And that's kind of accelerated a lot over the last year. And that's why I got into doing private angel readings. And that's why I do weekly angel guidance on Sunday because I love connecting with the angelic realm. I think it's incredible. And it's kind of like your own like private coach deep within your soul that says yes or no, or they show you different signs and symbols to notify you of different things. Like 
if any of you have ever had a loved one pass away and they send you signs, it's like, oh my gosh, you're here. Like my dog, Jessie, I'm not too sure if you've been following me for about three years because I did a video a couple of years ago when she passed away. Um, and since then, she comes to me, like she came to me on the weekend and <laughs> The way I knew that she was there, normally she farts because her farts just stink so flipping bad. But this time she smelled like a wet dog and she knows that I hate that smell of wet dog because I would never let her in my room when she smelled like this feral dog and she just needed to be bathed. Anyway, so she came on the weekend and it was just like, oh, it's like the, my intuition is like, Jessie's here. <laughs> it was interesting because she came when my mum was there and my fiance was there and the three of us haven't been together and since July last year, which is crazy. So the intuition is another habit that's literally changed my life. It's how I started my YouTube channel, how I manifested my fiance, how I started my business, how I manifested this camera, how I got my laptop, how we manifested this house. It was like, it's the biggest superpower you could ever, ever have. And it is like, it's priceless. Oh my gosh. Okay. And the other habit that has changed my life is practicing daily self-love. You guys know I speak about this a lot and I've actually created a free self-love starter kit. If you haven't already downloaded, make sure you do. Over 555 people have downloaded and you can read the reviews on my website. You can find it at melaniekatelove.com forward slash start here. So in the self-love starter kit, I teach you three strategies to help raise your vibration. One is a morning mindset audio to help program your mind for success. The second one is a five minutes to bliss guided meditation to listen to when you know the shit hits the fan and life is crazy. The third one is a self-love practices workbook, which you can work your way through to help identify what does self-love look like for you. For me, it looks like painting my nails, wearing my um, what do you call it? Skull and crossbones bandana from when I used to work on Disney cruise ship and this was for pirate night and I love this shirt like this shirt totally sparks joy like I love it and like I love this town because it's oh, it's just beautiful and I love my plan this is Lola everybody and I love this this is my new crystal I got for my birthday oh my gosh it looks so stunning on camera I just love it like look how raw that is so beautiful. So yeah, that these are my self-love practices. So these are my five habits that change my mind. So let me know on the screen right now which of these five habits may have changed your life. Or if you have any others that you'd love to share with me, please comment down below. I'll be responding to you for the first hour. That's from 7 a.m. to 8 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Oh my gosh, my love, thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate you. I love that you have made it to this far in the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Join our beautiful MK Love fam and make sure you hit that bell so you're notified every time I upload. Otherwise, you're gonna miss all this delicious content that is making its way to you every Wednesday and Sunday. Anyways, my love, I'll see you on Sunday for a weekly angel guidance. I love you, I love you, I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.